The framework for change makers is around positive intelligence. What is that? Why is it important? Why, why, why? Why? Oh, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so glad you asked that question. <laughs> um, positive intelligence, similar to emotional intelligence. You know, if we think about how we perceive our world and our workplace and ourselves, <laughs> You know, it's the inner thoughts of how we navigate through our lives, our work careers, and in, in relationships. And so the positive intelligence is an operating system um, umbrella for reframing how we view how what we're doing, whatever our role is, whether it's, you know, our lives, our personal lives, our work lives, our relationships, our, in our inner thoughts. And it is a concrete program through which uh, we are, or on which we are overlaying the Change Makers program to help our members to um, identify what's holding them back. Some folks would say nothing's holding them back, but there typically is you something. Mm-hmm. Just pull back that layer just a teeny mm-hmm. little bit. This was, That's why we start out with a free assessment mm-hmm. to identify what we call our saboteurs, of which there are 10. And if you just, you know, if you're open to learning, if you're open to a different experience, the journey through this positive intelligence operating system will um, reveal areas of your life that you may not have even given a thought to or did not know exist, but the subconscious, which rules most of our lives, 95% of our lives are run by our subconscious, um, it will reveal itself and the whole power of that is the recognition, awareness, course correction, and implementation Mm. of um, turning down the volume on these saboteurs and converting them to what we call sage powers, to more positive ways of looking and and being in our lives. Right. I mm. think in general, folks aren't taught what no. you just discussed. And, you know, we do similar work at, through coaching, mm-hmm. right? And it just the ability to identify these things that can really have a significant impact on your progress as a, a person, as a professional, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Well, and it also, it, it, it immediately and directly impacts every aspect of how we communicate and manage every a, a relationship in our right. life. I mean, starting with our own inner relationship with ourselves, um, our parents, our spouses, our children, our coworkers, our direct reports, our subordinates, it, it impacts everything. Yeah. It really does. Ten saboteurs. What Tim, are, ten, yes. What are name them? Begin to identify them. Yes. So I will try to do this in alphabetical order. Um, the avoider, um, which it helps us lose ourselves in comforting routines and habits. It pro- helps us procrastinate, putting off actually dealing with what is in our mm. lives. A lot of people are avoiders. We do. Absolutely. A lot of people do that. And I just want to say before you move on to that, it. I don't think that people realize how significant that is. You know, what if you're a boss or you're running a business and the you avoidance say, saboteur. Yeah, oh, I yeah. have this person and they just do everything at the last minute. The the depth, the the purpose, not the purpose, the cause for for that particular behavior can go so deep. It does. The second uh, saboteur, which I happen to rank high on, is the controller, mm-hmm. which is not in a manipulative sense at all, but it's an anxiety based need to take charge and control of situations to make sure that the results are high. Um, but it is sometimes propelled by anxiety. Um, I'm, I have always said, you know, I get things done. Yeah. And you, I'm sure you guys are the same way. 